Um, I do like to begin this evening with some words of gratitude. Um, gratitude, obviously, for the present company and gratitude for all of my elective representative colleagues across all levels of government for their commitment to safeguarding Canadians from COVID-19 and gratitude for the beacon of light and hope on the horizon that is a vaccine. And also gratitude for your kind welcome as a participant of tonight's community meeting. Many organizations have stepped up to help us with this outreach, and I'm still getting phone calls and messages from people who want to help. And we can't thank you enough for everything that you're doing. I've been in contact with many community leaders over the past couple of weeks as this all came together. And I've seen that the work that you're doing actually reflects what they want to see. It reflects the feedback that we're hearing from community members at the ground level. And we couldn't do this kind of outreach effort without your help because you are the ones who are closest to the community. Together, you've mobilized a lot of dedicated staff and volunteers who are putting in countless hours of their time to make this happen. Community groups, faith-based organizations, and cultural groups are the ones who know people in community the best. These are the places where people connect and can help each other. Whether it's a center for newcomers, Action Dignity, the, the Shmish Culture Center, the Hindu Society, Immigrant Services, or the Al Medina Mosque, we've seen how community-based organizations are the hub of their communities. And of course, we rely on these connections in the community to help us provide the right resources in the right ways to make sure people get information and access to services. Simply being able to provide information in more languages such a simple thing, and reach out to more people in different neighborhoods will help raise awareness and let people know that there is help. The understanding and knowledge you bring to the table is what will help us reduce the spread of COVID-19 in our community and across the province. I also want to say, and we all know this, that COVID doesn't discriminate. Its presence is felt in every community across the province but the impact it has in certain neighborhoods is clearly more prevalent. That's very clear in Northeast Calgary, where many of the people who have been exposed to the virus are frontline workers who don't have the option of working from home. Their public facing jobs mean their risks for contracting the virus are amplified. Many families live in multi-generational homes as well, just as I do. And there can be very real challenges in isolating effectively. As you know, I've been very clear in my communications on this situation that we have to be careful not to stigmatize people or communities while recognizing that we need to do better, to do more, to ensure that the public health measures are communicated in a way that resonate, in a way that penetrate into communities that experience very real barriers. We've been able to reach out to people who may have been reluctant to ask for help and let them know that there's no shame in a positive COVID test and thanks to all of you, we have an extensive network of groups who are working to reach out all over the city. There are resources available and there are supports like isolation hotel spaces, culturally appropriate meals, emergency evacuation payments, and even transportation if required. Supporting people at the community level is paramount, paramount and I can't emphasize that enough. And we and I appreciate the leading role that you all play. Finally, I would like to say that the feedback from all of your interactions with people seeking help and assistance to understand how best to move forward is providing us the ability to get information to people expediently. I'll end at that, but you know, I do want to thank you for all the support that you've provided and for the continued support that I know will be provided in the coming days and weeks. Government can't do this alone. We need your help. And you are certainly making it happen. And I'm so grateful to have the opportunity to work with all of you. Thank you.